We are not part of the EU, uh, indeed. On actually, we think there are advantages because we can be very liberal and pro-business. So, Philippe, because of the Brexit, can we expect companies that are based in the United Kingdom to relocate and move to somewhere like Switzerland? I think your question can be broken down in two parts, into two parts. The first part is whether companies would leave the UK and move somewhere else. And I think the answer is, is yes, definitely they would consider. And let me give you a real example. Uh, there is in the UK a factory of uh, Nissan. And most of the cars are exported to the EU, mostly to Germany, paying zero import duties. If after the Brexit, they would have to pay 8% import duties for sure, the, the factory of Nissan in the UK will have to relocate to another uh, country, which is part of the EU. But now there is a lot of uncertainty of, of the relation, the future relation between the EU and the UK. So we cannot give a, a definite answer about how many companies could move out. And are they really considering to actually leave? Yes, they, they are really considering. On let me give you a real example. Uh, last uh, summer, just before the Brexit, I happened to be in Japan, and I had a meeting one by one with 12 CEO of large Japanese company, which are uh, part of the stock exchange Tier One. And I didn't meet this CEO for anything related to Brexit to Switzerland, but those CEO they brought to the table the topic of the topic of Brexit, and they told me if there is a Brexit, we would like to move our headquarters from, from, from the UK to Switzerland. Could you help us? One week later, the Brexit uh, came and they called me to, to, to discuss this topic in more detail. So I think the, the movement uh, out from, from the UK is real. So if companies are to leave the United Kingdom, why would they choose to move to Switzerland? Um, I think that uh, depending on the project, Swiss, Switzerland can be very attractive. Uh, for instance, if it is a uh, European headquarters, Switzerland has a lot of uh, assets to attract those kind of projects. If it is a factory of cars, maybe Switzerland is not the, the normal uh, um, place for, for such a project. And I think the interesting thing about this is Switzerland actually isn't in the EU. So why is that such an issue? Is it an issue at all? So we are not part of the EU uh, indeed. And actually we think there are advantages because we can be very liberal and pro-business. Actually, Switzerland, we are not politically part of the EU, but economically we are very well integrated thanks to bilateral agreement between Switzerland and, and the EU. And are these agreements in danger at all? Is the freedom of movement, can it be guaranteed for people? You know, we, we had a popular vote, which a uh, little bit endangered this uh, free movement of people. But uh, our parliament uh, was very bold and took some, some measures, which I think are very good, to make sure that we keep this free movement of people and we keep our good relation with the EU. So what about new foreign companies that are looking to locate somewhere in Europe? So does the UK have less appeal now and does Switzerland have more appeal? I would say that uh, for Switzerland, it doesn't really change. For the UK, uh, one element uh, became negative and this element is called insecurity because we don't know what will happen in the next two or three years. But uh, in the UK still have a lot of positive aspects. Fantastic. Well, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to come into our thank studios. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Well, that's all from us once again. But if you did like this interview, then please do like and comment on dukascopy.tv.